have you heard? Well, we can tell you that this did happen. We've confirmed that there was an incident, that more information is being gathered. As we speak, Dallas police do not have any information regarding any arrests that were made at that bar as of this moment. But there was an incident that everybody is now looking into. But here's the bottom line. We do not know what happened yet. We do not know whether he threw any punches, whether he didn't throw any punches. But what I can tell you is that the league, as it had been looking into previous allegations mm -hmm. regarding Zeke Elliott, there was concern about his off-the-field behavior and other incidents that sidelined him, tracked him throughout the course of last season, dating back to the accusations of the alleged domestic violence from that one woman that occurred in 2016 from yep. February and July of 2016. So the league had been looking into this, all the information surrounding Zeke Elliott. This had been the week, this week, where he was supposed to respond to the report that the league had issued to him regarding the incidents of domestic violence. And again, you cannot look at it as a cumulative pattern of behavior, but they start to pile up. We've got a fight now. Yes. Some sort of incident at a bar. We've got St. Patrick's Day where he pulls down a woman's shirt and it's captured on video. We've got the domestic violence accusations. And we've got an investigation that's gone on for over a year now where we have not gotten clarity from the NFL as to what it's going to do regarding Zeke Elliott. Now, I can tell you this. As of last week, he had been bracing for a short suspension from the NFL. But the NFL still has not made any final decisions. And when it hears this, whether that delays this investigation, delays the result, right. we see what happens with it. Again, more questions, more smoke, more issues.